Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush. It's been a little while, but I am back. And today, we are looking at the Royal Docks Brewing Company's Tanglefoot IPA. Now, Lush fans, I know I haven't been around in a while. I've just been really, really busy. But like I said, I'm back. And this is the second of the three released retail brews that Royal Docks has come out with. Now, they are located in Canton, Ohio. I just watched the first video I did on this. Now, according to their official webpage, it says, Born in America, but with a soul recalling a distant English ancestry, excuse me, Tanglefoot is one of the flagship India Pale Ales from the Royal Docks Brewing Company. Tanglefoot is an American IPA that is a decisively hoppier cousin to the historical British beers from which the style's name is borrowed. The beer features a piney and resonant nose with a pleasant, rounded bitterness from a healthy dose of American Nugget, Cascade, and Mosaic hops. Tanglefoot reveals an historic English, English heritage as it offsets the massive hop ch charge with a full-body palate and sturdy malt backbone, backbone excuse me, thanks to the British-grown, floor-malted mare's otter and hard and barley prized throughout the world for superior flavor and aromatics. That's a lot to say on their webpage. Now, for the record, I don't know if you've seen on the can, the alcohol by volume is 6.8% and the IBUs are 70. Now, be, be fair, I actually this has actually been sitting in my fridge for two weeks, and I'm finally getting around to it, so let's see how this goes. Now, the first thing you definitely notice that is definitely IPA just from the smell alone. And I am pick, picking up that cascade. I don't know why I can't speak today, Lush fans. No idea. We'll go for the pour. And it's pouring really, really, really nice. It definitely has that traditional American IPA color to it. Now, the one thing I do notice that it has that nice, rich, darker golden color. And I know that's not really, I know that's really not the color fair with me, Lush fans. It's been a while. Now, it did give me some good head about, man, eh, one and three quarters fingers worth of head. So it's not that bad. Now, going for smell, once again, now, now I really start to smell that hop coming out now. And that's a good thing. Now, have a little, excuse me, have a little taste, so cheers. Hmm. That's an American IPA, all right. Um... The one thing about this one, this, even though this IBUs are 70, this is a suspiciously, suspiciously hidden 70. I mean, you know the hops are there, as far as the IBUs. If you, if I didn't know this beer at all, honestly, my, my computer is updated, that's nice. It's, um, I would think, I would think something like this would be in the 50s, to be honest with you. Um. To me, it's really not that bitter, but I do get that cascade, like I, like I said, and the malts really, really, really come out on this one. So this is something to where it's a nice beer to have this time of year in the summertime. Now, I'm probably better off having it when it gets really hot starting next week, but you know what? It happens. But I wanted to have this. It's like it says, the second and the three. I'm a I'm a bloody mess today, Lush fans. I'm sorry. But, um, Lush does recommend this is a solid four chocobos. But I am going to reassess this. Not necessarily a revisit review, but when it gets really, really hot. So I got to remind myself to do that in the middle of next month. Well, Lush fans, that is it for this review because I'm just rambling at the moment. This is the Royal Docks Brewing Company's Tanglefoot IPA. And stay tuned for the next edition of Thanks to Lush.